Hello everybody, welcome to another uh, episode in uh, Goggles Goes to Europe. And uh, well, it's finally finished. I've uh, done all I'm going to do on this 20 truck skin pack. So 20 RJL trucks with this skin. So ugh, what a ordeal it's been. But uh, anyway, we'll get to a trailer pack that matches with the various cab configurations down the road. I've just I'm all in on this. I spent so much time at it. It's crazy. Anyway, it's done. And uh should be a link in the video. Um, we're in um, Carlisle and we're heading for Perth up in Scotland and uh, with a load of yogurt. So, and we're driving a single axle. Mostly because I just don't drive a single axle enough. Always oh, got some multi axle thing going on. So, this is kind of cool. Let's uh, throw one level of lights on. Y yeah, so. On the trailer skin thing, the uh, different uh, length of cabs, because the stripe rises as it goes down the side of the cab. Oh, I'm supposed to look that way. Jeez, there I am. North American looking to get wiped out. Um, hey, there's Larry A. just signed into FS22. I haven't heard from Larry in quite a while. Um, anyway, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, because the, the stripe rises, and then as you know, the length of the cab increases, the stripe comes off the back of the cab at a different location. So, but it should be, so we've got um, the, oh, uh, let's see, normal. Uh, top line and the high the top line and the high line should be the same so it should be just four different trailer configurations would be needed so for normal for the high line slash top line and for the extended and the long so I should be able to make four trailer skins just put them in a pack and then just name them appropriately and just match them with whatever truck you got going It's a big mirror right in the way there. But uh, yeah, so looking forward to putting this behind me. Getting on with the uh, the night moose skins coming along real nice. And I uh, I don't you know I just more things to understand and clean up with it, but uh, a little tidying here and there. There's only so much I can get done with that area where the stripes go through the front steps. That's a real complicated thing to try and get stripes to go through. And uh, I'm going to be probably willing to settle with a bit of a for a bit of a compromise there. So it won't be the longest of trips, but uh, not bad. I got to um, late uh, getting to recording it because of uh, a few things. One was I spent the last, I guess, five hours <laughs> working on finishing this skin up. And, uh, you know, it's that final details. There's probably something I'm missing. I don't know, but I've gone through the 20 skins. And uh, of course, I found a bunch of problems. 
had to fix them. I thought I was close to done, but I had more work to do than I expected. And um, yeah, then a drama with my older daughter couldn't find the registration for her car. And it's time to renew it, so we we're panicking over that, trying to find it. It turned out it was right where it was supposed to be in the center console of the car. So I, that was goofy. So that wasted a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of time as we looked around fruitlessly for it. She said <laughs> she saw it in its little, you know, little plastic folder, a little foldable thingy you put the insurance and registration in, or at least what we do here in Canada, and uh, it's supposed to stay in the vehicle by law, and uh, she said she was looking in the console, and she thought, she thought that was a glasses case, my word, I think uh, maybe she needs better glasses. But, it's all swell that ends well. Yeah, so this video is going to be getting made awful late in terms of the normal publishing time, but uh, we'll get her out there. Well, once again, nice drive, nice rolling countryside. off a late in the day. I didn't set the time for, uh, I guess I uh, started doing this trip in a bit of a hurry with the, uh, all the kerfuffle that was going on. How are we doing? Oh boy. Oh well. Oh, and now it's raining. automatic wipers that's that I'm enabled here. Yeah, I guess that's them, because I turned it to my intermittent position, and uh, they're running full time, so I thought of oh, oh. Not much traction around that corner. Tightish corners. Looks like another one coming up. I think I'm supposed to stay left or something here. Well, it's just a turn in the road. Okay. I'm going to slow down for this. I think if I ever end up driving in the nighttime, the video gets zero views or very few. 
views because I guess it doesn't make very captivating uh, watching. Like I said in videos before, when in real life I did a lot of driving at night because of the nature of the job, like doing hot shots. And uh, you're, like I said before, you're generally, you know, I drove a flat deck. It's all I ever drove. And uh, you're always going to beat a crane, it seems, for the, uh, you know, the really urgent jobs that you're trying to get out to the middle of nowhere. And, they got a crane booked and set up there and you're in a hurry to get to it. And you gotta drive like a long distance, so it's generally they'd say, you know, get there at eight in the morning. So you drive all night or whatever it took, you'd leave whenever it you figure it appropriate, you know, ten PM the night before or one in the morning, whatever is appropriate to get there for that eight AM offload with the crane. Heaven forbid you should be late, because cranes cost money to keep sitting around. So, and that's what, you know, that's the nature of a hotshot. Just in time delivery, in a hurry, to a remote location, generally. Interesting stuff, though. I mean, I, I loved it. It was right up my alley. It's kind of like I was wired to do that job. Well, the gloom seems to be hanging, hanging on. Or the, I guess we're in Scotland. Scotland would be the gloaming. <laughs> it's uh, not getting pitch black out. Oh, I wonder if I have that northern light thingy going on in this profile. I didn't think I did. Might have that polar night thing. Wipers have gone down to inter intermittent on their own. And pretty soon they should go off.
Wow, look at that, eh? What's, oh, it's confused by what he was doing. Thought he was gonna do a U-turn. <laughs> Seven K to go. Little cat eyes in the road. They don't show up from too far away. Just curious about that. Maybe when it's darker, they would, uh... Oh! This is us! Oh, look at that string of cars! Wow! Not handy! <laughs> or not! There's the end. <laughs> I hate when that happens when you're gonna go and pull out somewhere and you kinda hum and haw and wait for a car to come and then all of a sudden it's just continuous. He has 37,984 pounds of yogurt. Gotta try that uh, realistic building light mod again, see if we can get it working. So what it does is it cuts down on the number of windows that are lit. If you look at these buildings across to the left there, they're every single window is lit. It's highly unrealistic. So this other, this mod turns, you know, maybe three-fifths or something of them off randomly. Gamer and I tried it in convoy and it didn't didn't want to work in convoy for some reason but we didn't push it because we were doing a pretty big mod order and uh, we had bigger fish to fry than try and solve that problem so we'll uh, have to look at it again this is not a convoy profile so I should just slap it in here see if I can remember to do that I guess I haven't been thinking about it much because I so seldom drive at night anymore. That's we're going to handle this, I guess. Do the old U-turn thingy. I can kind 
kind of missed it by a bit. Let's get our long range mirror going. Oh, it's not, it's not bad. like that. Oh, I was wondering if it's just my parking lights on there in the dark. My goodness. Oh, a nice little payday for a fairly short trip. Yeah, so uh, check the skins out. Yeah, our, the um, All of the RJL trucks should work on. So, um, yeah, and then I'll worry about a, a trailer pack uh, down the road because, I mean, I just put so much time into this. I just, I got to do some other things to clean them up, too. Anyway, thanks so much for following along, guys. Really appreciate it. And uh, take care. Catch you on the next one. Bye for now.